The stories that you know I'm trying to tell, trying to capture, is just a day in the life of, of a Raven. As a player, uh, you know we stress about just playing in the moment, being in the moment. Uh, you know, one play at a time mentality, and I think comparing that to, you know, photography is, you know, capturing the moment. The Ravens return to prime time tonight in another showdown of first place team. Sunday night, no place I'd rather be in America than right here in Jacksonville. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, yes, Let's go out there and do what we do. Dumb right on three. One, two, three. Dominate. He's got him, Isaiah Likely. Touchdown, Ravens. Zero. Out of one sack attempt. Now he fumbles the ball at the 20-yard line. And the Thanks, Ravens Thanks, have recovered. <laughs> Sets his feet, steps up, hit, spins out of a sack, back pedals to the 45, going deep, look out, trouble. You know, enjoying the moment at hand. But it is caught on oh. the five-yard line. Tell the story of what that moment was like. He gives the pass, Edward straight ahead, and he walks in. Touchdown! I'm just excited to, you know, capture these big moments that, you know, we'll be sharing, you know, here in the future. Hey, family on three, family on three. One, two, three. Hey, 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 The stories that you know I'm trying to tell, trying to capture, is just a day in the life of, of a Raven. I think giving the, the fans opportunity to just see what it's like, seeing what the guys' personalities is like is, you know, it's it's awesome. I've always been, you know, intrigued by photography. I just enjoy capturing moments. Honestly, one day I just decided, you know, I'm gonna, you know, get my own camera. Uh, I'm really into film. I really just like the the settings, you know, on it. You, you know, it's it's really captures that that vintage look. There's about 30, 36, 38 uh, photos that can be taken, and so, you know, once those are filled up, you know, I just package it up, uh, ship it back home to Dallas, Texas, and. Uh, the turnaround time's about a day or two to get them back, and so they, you know, they upload it to my account, and it's honestly like a little treat for me when the photos get uploaded, because you know you, you can't see the picture, you know, once you take it, so you, you just uh, have to play the waiting game to get the pictures back. You know, as a player, uh, you know, we stress about just playing in the moment, being in the moment, uh, you know, one play at a time mentality, and I think you know that comparing that to you know, photography is, you know, capturing the moment, you know, enjoying the moment at hand, you know, and being able to look back at that moment, you know, and tell the story of what that moment uh, was like. The moments that I, I like to capture, obviously, post game, uh, you know, after a win, you know, it's, it's always good to capture those moments, um, you know, capturing guys being interviewed or, you know, game balls given out. You know, I like to get, you know, a couple of pre games of, you know, guys being in the zone, you know, maybe catching passes, doing doing whatever drills they may do. It's, it's kind of just giving me a, a little outlet to, you know, just to get away from football. You know, not only do I take pictures, you know, on game day, you know, I'm taking pictures of whenever I'm with family or out in with, you know, with the boys or, or whatever it may be. And so it, it kind of just gives me something to, to look forward to, capture moments that, you know, we'll look back on, um, you know, years from now. Uh, and, you know, it, it'll all tell a story. This picture right here, this is definitely one of my favorites. This is, you know, first interception that I've had uh, against the Browns uh, this season. Went out, went outside to the stadium uh, after the game and kind of, you know, got a picture of it, obviously, in the stadium. So this is, you know, this is the one that I'll, I'll definitely probably frame, uh, frame up. This is uh, of my sister and my nephew, Sean, uh, sister Chelsea. Uh, this is his first, first uh, pool day uh, that he had. 
Uh, he really wasn't a big fan of the pool, maybe a little too cold for him. We had the barbecue going. Uh, yeah, just, just, a, just a fun night out with the family. This is definitely one of my favorite ones of Coach Harz and uh, EDC. Uh, this is actually after his 150th, uh, 50th win, but I think this picture just shows, you know, their relationship, you know, their support that they have with one another, you know, the many years of working together and, you know, the, the standard that they set here. Yeah, I think this picture is it's just great, you know. Got to get this picture to both of them. I'm just excited to, you know, capture more moments, capture more personalities on, on, on the camera, um, you know, and get, get the fans, you know, just a little glimpse of these big moments that, you know, we'll be sharing, you know, here in the future. Captain Jacksonville This Ravens team is very focused right now, focused on winning, focused on winning the next game, and that happens to be against the Jacksonville Jaguars. This requires extraordinary feelings. This is something special you should all be a witness. I, 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 I was born for greatness. You know, I, I believe it starts in practice, and I believe our team been busting right behind in practice as well. You know, all phases, special teams, offense, defense. Um, we treat everything like a a game, you know, we treat it like a two-minute situation, you know, like we must need it. I believe our team is just focused. We understand these last games are so valuable and, and, and you know, we need wins. You know, we need wins. We need to stack wins down the stretch here. Uh, this is a tough bunch of games and we've got to be our best in this next game that we can possibly be. You move, show me what you can do. Nobody judging you, just like the few. There's a lot on the line for the Jaguars in this game, and I really think it has the potential to feel like a playoff game. I mean, Sunday night football in Jacksonville, Florida, for the first time since 2008. This one means a lot to this team and this city. It's a very passionate fan base. I just feel like the atmosphere in Everbank Stadium is going to be electric. And I mean, that's exactly what Lamar Jackson wants. He has the best record of any quarterback when it comes to primetime games since 2018. All eyes on you, you know, got to go out there and perform. Just be ready to be locked in, you know. Uh, I don't get hyped about it. I just, I just get ready, you know, because like I said, it's all eyes on you. You know, it's like when to go home, it's like a playoff game, you know. So. I just be locked in. I, 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 I was born for greatness. We're talking about opportunity. Now this is our first opportunity to so get another game, to so go out here and be dominant, to be playmaker, relentless, smart, ball hunt. Let's go out there and do what we do. Dominate on three. One, two, three. Dominate. The Ravens moved back into the top seed of the AFC, and tonight they have a chance to not only hold on to that top seed, but clinch a playoff berth. It's the right time, because the time's now. I define tough. You Sisters and my brothers get up, calling all my people because it's time to hit up. Anyone opposing me, it's time to give up. Buckle up, it's on the ride. I'm authentic, call me certified. Read the room, had to learn the vibe. And now you know that I'm the best to ever do it. Don't you ever get it twisted. You were the best, I had to turn the tide. Now you make sure you risk it. The Ravens have not given up 300 yards passing to an opposing quarterback since week 12 of last year when they faced Trevor Lawrence right here <laughs> in Jacksonville. This is a different football team this time of year than it was last year. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, yes, sir. Sunday night, no place I'd rather be in America than right here in Jacksonville. Let's get this cracking. One, two, three, go, son.
Trevor Lawrence and the Jacksonville offense on the field first. Because I watched Trevor Lawrence warming up. That kid can make any throw at any point in the field. He is dangerous. <laughs> hey, don't be surprised if they take a shot in the first play. Yo, yo. Oh! Deep drop for Lawrence, going deep, far side, and it sails incomplete. He was looking for Calvin Ridley at the 42-yard line. Brandon Stevens had the coverage. Brandon Stevens has been playing at a Pro Bowl level all year long. They're bringing a blitz pressure. Lawrence throws across the middle, sails incomplete. He was looking for Zay Jones at the Ravens' 45-yard line. Again, Brandon Stevens had the coverage. And the punt team comes on for Jacksonville. They're going to try you, tell them to try the other side. That ain't working. It ain't working. It's all good, though. It's all good, though. Try the other side. Throwing it 2 1 ain't working. It ain't going to work, my love. We can get hands on these boys, my love. Remember, he's going to kick out to you, right? So make a move. You know what I mean? Up the field inside, take it outside. The Ravens offense following Mark Andrews' injury. We knew it would be a big impact. It has been a big impact, but it seems like it's being mitigated by the play of Isaiah Likely, who's stepping up each week. Second down and eight for the Ravens. Jags bring a blitz. Jackson pocket collapsing. He'll have to escape. Runs to the left, lobs it forward. Isaiah Likely reaches up and makes the catch and tumbles down with a first down at the Jacksonville 31-yard line. Hold that ball, boy. There you go. There you go, Zay. Lamar off the play fake, deep drop. Patiently waiting, drifting to the right, pumps once, pulls the ball down. Now he escapes the pocket, scrambling to the right, still extending the play, fires a strike, complete. Bateman has it. Spun down at the 40-yard line for a nine-yard gain. Bro, I'm so happy I never have to play him. Like, that would be so mad. They're just running in circles off the D-line. Well, that's frustrating. So frustrating. It's like, I can't get there. <laughs> I can't get there. Iso cam. Okay, fun bunch radio. Yeah. <laughs> Lamar off the play fake. Drifting back, steps up. Now he fires. He's got Bateman wide open at the Jacks 45. Makes the catch and scampers out of bounds at the Jacksonville 42. It's another Ravens first down. Woo, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, baby. Let's go, man. There you go. There you go. There you go. Kick on the way is right down the middle, and it is good. 6.21 to play, opening quarter in Jacksonville, and the Ravens strike first and lead it 3-0. Let's go do it again. Let's go do it again. I'm just trying to lock in on zero, bro. I'm, I'm so locked in. In the first half, it really seemed like the game could kind of go either way. The Jaguars defense was making Lamar's life difficult, really being able to get to the quarterback, pressuring him. The Ravens offense just wasn't really able to get much going in the first half. I think you put that, I think you like laying it right over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, next one though. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I'm always good, boy. Big dog. Let's go, baby. Turn up, what I say, it's time, bro. It's time. McManus's kick has the distance. It's drifting to the right, it's no good off the upright. And that may have been a wind-aided miss. He missed it again. Jaguars just couldn't seem to get things rolling when they truly needed to make a play. Well, the Jags very much on the move now. Third down and 17 for the Jags from the Ravens 23. Trevor Lawrence wants to throw, has time, steps up in the pocket. Now he scrambles to the left. He's going to run 20, 15, fumbles the ball. It's scooped up. The Ravens have it 40 yard line. Arthur Mollett with a fumble recovery. And the Ravens defense comes up with a huge turnover off of an even bigger mistake by Trevor Lawrence. I thought you had some gas, bro. I thought you had some game, boy. Boy, you look hurt. No, I I feel you. You just trying to secure it. I would have done the same thing. I want to talk to you the rest of the game. This defense is very aggressive. The linebackers are very aggressive. 
quick passing games, get the ball out to your playmakers in space, and make them tackle your guys one-on-one -on -one in space. Lamar to throw on third down. Scrambling. Starts to the left, runs back to the right, trying to extend the play. Sets his feet, fires across the middle. He's got Bateman at the 48-yard line of the Jaguars. 12-yard gain, first down Ravens. I would be miserable as the D-line coach on the other side of the field right now. Yeah. You can't miss all them down. I know, what do you do? I would be miserable. Yeah. Keep coming, guys. Keep coming. Hey, hey there. Don't, don't get, get frustrated. Me. Keep going. <laughs> That's all you can say. Keep rushing, boys. Jackson keeps it on the read option. He's to the 45, hit hard at the 40, and spun down. Blitz pressure coming. Jackson hit as he throws down the middle. Caught by OBJ, a tumbling grab at the 30-yard line. And the Ravens deliver on third and six and move the chain. Let's go! Jackson in the shotgun. He wants to throw, fires over the middle. He's got his man, Charlie Kohler, taken off his feet at the two-yard line. It's first and goal, Ravens. We'll take that. We'll take that. Lamar wants to throw, lobs to the end zone, looking for his man. He's got him, Isaiah Likely. Touchdown, Ravens. Ah. Oh, let's go, Zay. Great use of the tight ends, both running down the seam. Charlie Kohler got the ball to the two, and then after the penalty, it's Isaiah Likely who gets the ball in the end zone. And the Ravens cash in on the Jags' turnover. Bro, let's go start, bro. Let's go start. Let's do it right here. Let's go. Let's do it right here. Hey, they uh, they ain't got time out, so they gonna come to the boundary. Hey, we got to tackle them in bounds, so. Now with 104 to play, the big kick return gives the Jags decent field position to try to close the half out with their first points of the night. Best case scenario, they want to get a touchdown, but minimum, they want to get into field goal range. Trevor Lawrence will throw. Has time going deep. 20-yard line, incomplete. It was Brandon Stevens with the coverage. I and mean, that's really good coverage by Brandon Stevens. He's been on target all night tonight. Clock is running, 19 seconds left. The Jags will sprint to the line. He can't turf it in the shotgun. He takes the snap, fires to the near side, caught and tackled in bounds. They're not going to make three no seconds points. left. The clock is going to expire, and the half comes to an end. The Jaguars mismanage the clock at the end, and the Ravens sidestep, letting Jacksonville put points on the board. We good. We good. Throughout this week, it really seemed like this defense was fired up for this matchup. They weren't thrilled with their performance in the Rams game, despite it being a victory. This is a very competitive unit who really takes pride in the final score. They want zero points on the board for the opposing team. And it looks like that might be the case throughout this Jacksonville game, only allowing seven points. You locking it up? Hey, all day, zero. All day, zero. I think me and really got beef right now. I told you, man, I'm always locked in. I'm always locked in, no matter what they get. Ah, oh, man. We got to get freaky, uh, pal. The Ravens get the ball at their 41-yard line. They've had the ball twice here in the third quarter. Eight play drive, no points. Seven play drive, no points. When they're getting in and out of the huddle at a nice tempo, they normally have a really good play. Quick toss, Mitchell, right side, running behind Ricard, cuts back to the left side, he's across midfield, Jacksonville 40, 35, and he's shouldered out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Kohler sets to the left side of the line, Isaiah likely to the right side of the line. Mar the shotgun on second down and six, takes the snap, sets his feet, steps up, hit, spins out of a sack, back pedals to the 45, going deep, look out, trouble, but it is caught at the five-yard line. Coming down with the ball is Isaiah Likely in between a pair of Jacksonville defenders. Oh! Isaiah Likely just went up and 
took it out of the air with his hands against both of the defenders. Okay, you got a sack, right? Uh, no problem. I, I missed him. I'm going to go get him again. Get him again. No, just throw it up in the air, and then let's have Likely go get between out. two guys. Stop it. One of the plays of the year right here. Doing the shuttle every play, man. I'm happy I never played the Ravens, bro. When I was away, I didn't play them. I was in the so Man, I keep him in the fight. After the play, Smoot's on his backside, and he's, he's like, how did you do that? What are you doing to me? You're costing me my bonus, and I, I'm, you're killing me, Lamar. You're killing me. It's Ricard and Gus Edwards in the backfield. Lamar from under center. The give is the bus. Edwards straight ahead, and he walks in. Touchdown, Ravens! Nice job, Gus. Nice job, Lamar. Great play, buddy. Hey. That's a great play, man. That's a great play. Get us down there, Andy. Good buddy. Let's be up, Steve. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Out or no? All up in the air now. Let's go get you. One your man. All right, one your ass. Hey, let's go, Art. Let's go, baby. This is a big series for this Baltimore Ravens defense. This is a tone setter for the rest of this game. For the next 14 minutes and 58 seconds, if they can go out there three and out and pump the ball back to Lamar and this offense who just marched the ball down the field and scored a touchdown, putting this whole team in a bad situation. Especially now that the Ravens have their run game going. The one thing they have not done in the street category tonight is get a sack. They've had a sack in 34 consecutive games coming into this game. Two deep safeties. Trevor Lawrence wants to throw. Pocket collapsing. He spins out of one sack attempt. Now he fumbles the ball at the 20-yard line. Ball is loose. A big pile up. And the they, Ravens they have recovered. It. The Ravens recover on the strip sack. Matabike was first on the scene. And that means He's Matabike ties the NFL record for 11 straight games with it a sack. It is. It's Justin Matabike. Congratulations, young man. stop the clock three more times. We're down to two timeouts and the two minute warning. Ravens rush four. Lawrence fires across the Ooh. middle. Incomplete. No flags on the play. The ball was intended for Evan Ingram and Brandon Stevens was right there with the coverage. Let's go! Oh, 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 oh. We did, bro. If we play like that, can't nobody rock. Can't nobody do Nobody. Nobody. John Harbaugh and the Ravens with a fourth consecutive win and now point to San Francisco for a Christmas night showdown against the 49ers. Like the 49ers, the Ravens have now punched a ticket to the postseason. Clinching a spot in the playoffs is great 
but this is really just one step for the Ravens and it's a step in the right direction, but the Ravens are much hungrier. So the Ravens really do control their own destiny. They're still in the hunt for the top seed in the AFC and they could win the AFC North for the first time since 2019. So there's a lot on the line and it's really important for the Ravens to finish off this season strong and they know that. Ravens have arguably one of the toughest remaining schedules in the NFL, but they know what's on the line every single week. Appreciate y'all, man, for real. That's a really big win. That's a really tough win. Come down here and get the win against a team that was fighting for their lives. You know, these guys, these guys are trying to get the number one seed. All right? That was a, a tough win against a good team in a playoff environment. Haven't had a, a Sunday night game here since uh, 2008. Place was full and going crazy. That's what the playoffs are going to be like. And you guys played, you played a tough, hard-nosed winning football game, okay? That's the type of game it's going to take, all right? You keep building on that. All right, keep building on that. That was that was something else. So the first game ball is gonna go. It's gonna go to the running backs. We're gonna give it to Keaton. If, I don't know if he's gonna get out here or not. Uh, to accept it, Willie, come up here, Willie. And accept it. And Keaton will take this game ball for the running backs. Congratulations, fellas, uh, going to the playoff, fellas. So damn good job. Let's keep it going. Don't lighten up, tighten up. Marlon Humphrey, all day long coverage. Oh, no. oh, I see you, huh? I see you, huh? I see you, huh? Yeah, Matt BK set the record. Set yeah. the record, 11 yeah. straight games. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna give out three more game balls. I'm gonna give a game ball to Arthur Marlette for picking up that that that, that, that fumble right there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. A huge play in the game. Another huge play in the game. Do the final one was uh was that stop that drive at two minute. Marcus Williams making that tackle, man. That's a game winning play right there. Game winning play. Both those plays. Great job. Game winning play. And finally, how about the guy making plays? Got to give us a speech. Isaiah Lightning. Hey, love y'all, boys. Just keep going. <laughs> keep going. No, want to know this week? Want to know next week? Let's work. What does that mean? Oh, 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 come on, get the break on you, baby. Come on, guys, bring it up. Let's go. Yes, hey. Yes, hey. Family on three. Family on three. One, two, three. Hey, so good oh, luck. Randy, somebody you Randy ball on their head. It's like getting balls. over top of the like you It's basically like you dunking on someone. Oh, okay. Now I got it. That's nice. No, thank you. Thank you. I feel like now I'm kind of in. No doubt. I got it. I figured it out.